it speaks for itself. You know what you're about to get into. So let's get into it. Uh, 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 uh. DJ, intro this beast. Everybody, welcome back. We're doing this yet again. Fancy seeing you here. I see you tuned back in for another episode. So let's do it up. Deadpool and Bobby. So let's go ahead and jackknife off the high dive and get into this thing. Yeah. Bob. This is Bob. I don't know Bob. I've never heard of Bob. But I like Bob. Bob is nice. Bob is fun. I know Bob is a Hydra soldier. I know Bob has a really awesome smirky grin. And he looks like Dragonfly. Crap. So I've had a few days of messing around with Bob here for a little bit. And gotta tell you, the fun factor of this fella is up there in terms with Spot. Any goofy, over-the-top, flamboyant, almost even exaggerated, extremely characterized poses, uh, any accessories you want to put with them, like the fun factors with them are really, really up there. If you got Vulcan, if you got Black Panther, if you have a few other figures that have already come on this body, you know what to expect, the articulation aspect, and what you got going on here, you know, he does come with a little bit of added details. If you can notice that he has some buttons now and the buckles are actually lined out. Pretty sure uh, Robo over at the Floosh is happy with that one. <laughs> Bob is just fantastic. So whenever the two-pack first got announced, I was like, that of all people is the person that you're going to put with Deadpool in a two-pack? Whatever. Anyway, I don't know if they ever teamed up in a comic or any kind of thing like that. I don't follow Deadpool like that. Sorry. I ended up liking him way more than I thought I was going to. I was going to try and sell him off, and yeah, I ain't doing that. He is going to have a permanent place in my display over yonder. But anyway, since everybody knows what this body is, I'm not going to waste time going over their articulation. I'm just going to hit up some sweet poses here coming up. Follow up and scene. Meeting adjourned. As for accessories, Bob over here comes with a sweet P90X with a little bit of a green paint job and some black thrown in on there. Just check that out. Bob here also comes with a Mac 10 painted green like an army man's gun. That is sick. Boy. Bobby here also comes with an assassin's briefcase. Let us take a look at the contents, yeah? Here are the contents. There seems to be some devil suckers, a little flaccid banana, and what looks to be. Unst Thermis, with the word Bob written on it. Mmm, how great for an assassin. <laughs> Bob doesn't come with too many pair of hands, but he does come with two nice booger picking fingers. The only other hands Bob comes with are two reasons why KY jelly is needed for prostate exams. <gasps> but bam! But Bob is just so fun, man. Like, he can just get down with the getting down. I really do feel like he's on the same exact body as uh, Hawkeye for sure. I'm 100% positive it's the exact same body. The only thing about them is that they did change the plastic. It's not really a hard plastic anymore. It's definitely got some soft twist and give to it. Now, I'll say it makes it easier to get into poses. They're not so tight in a sense, and they do definitely hold well. Bad time for an example. But the body's fine. Like, his articulation's great. He's, he holds together well. He's not loose by any means. He's not gummy. He's just not hard. Oh! Talking about hard, you bitch! I'm really starting to like this guy the more I mess around with him, but, you know, I probably can't tell my parents about him, though. Oh! What? Goddamn cheeseburgers. Bob is incredible. Definitely, uh, I'm not gonna say he's a contender for the top ten, but I'm also not saying that. Whee! I'm sorry my cat is eating over here, and it's picking up, and I'm not a big fan of that, but I'm gonna keep it rolling, because I just want to say something quick. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, blah, blah, blah. What's that coming at you? This is a little small taste of just some fun stuff you can throw on him. G.I. Joe stuff. He works out well. He's just very animated looking, even though he looks really, really good and yada yada. But just like Spot, he works well with any accessory you want to put with him. I mean, he's the kind of guy that could throw on, I don't know, hats, capes, any kind of thing like that, man. Like, I'm telling you, this dude, man, he is way better than I expected him to be. So... <gasps> And now, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the main event, Deadpool! So this 
Deadpool definitely is Yow. Uh, the Yowzers in my trousers. He's fantastic. He is definitely the best Deadpool Marvel legend to ever come out. Don't even second guess yourself. Or maybe you'll have to. But I implore you to please think differently. Get it before it's too expensive. You don't want to miss out. Just like I wonder if anybody missed that one of those previous clips wasn't this current Deadpool. Hold up. Do you want to arm wrestle, bro? No. <laughs> Accessories. First we got cocked, locked, ready to rock. Mr. Wilson here also comes with a nice pair of balled up phalanges. Deadpool also comes with a pair of young lover's hands. Oh, oh, Deadpool. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait, what? Let me hold your fingers. Oh, no. So, Wade also comes with this hand here, and it looks like it could hold something maybe tubular, cylindrical, and some sort of a nature. Uh, I'm not going to insinuate anything here, but uh, use your discretion. Oh, 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 oh. I can't understand for the life of me why they gave him a thumbs down hand. That's a big thick thumb. Damn. Scissor loses to rock every single time. Ree, ree, ree. Starting off from the weapons, we got a pink bazooka. Ooh, a little hole you can put a blast effect into. Make it go a little kaboom. <laughs> Nothing in the back. It's pretty basic. We've had this one before for a hot minute. It came with a port that really doesn't plug into any one of them's back, but... What you gonna do about it? Mike Tyson's punch out. I really wish that Hasbro would include a left hand also at some point because we've gotten a red glove from him before. I'm ready for maybe double boxing glove hands. It'd be nice. I can't get enough of these. I love this. This is the goofiest, coolest thing that works perfectly with two goofy, wackadoo kind of characters like Bobby BB. Big Bobby. Bobby Bobby. I don't know. Bobby's world. I'll be getting right back to these. Let me go ahead and jump on the last four accessories. Let me preface this by saying that I have not seen anybody's review for this figure yet. If I'm going to review a figure, I'm not going to watch anybody else's. I don't want to have any ideas taken or thought of or any kind of stuff like that. So if this has been found out, I guess I'm late to the game or whatever it would be. But we have a purple staff. We have two orange nunchucks. We have two red sides. We got ourselves blue swords. So hear me out, okay? Deadpool killed the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and he took their weapons as trophy for his accomplishments as he was time jumping through different universes and stuff. In Guardians of the Galaxy 3, when High Evolutionary is explaining to Rocket and showing him how he takes a turtle and makes it into a humanoid creature, that was James Gunn showing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles his way. He even went so far as to have Bebop in it as the character of Warpig. It seems to be Marvel is trolling Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And now, Marvel's trolling Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in their action figures. I think that's fantastic to do something like this. So, I'm all aboard. It just makes some more fun factors as of this figure. I don't know if anybody's put that theory together necessarily, but it's fun for me. So, booyah! And now it seems that Marvel's trolling Star Wars with these. I mean, these seriously look like the KB toy knockoff lightsabers you would have back in the early 90s. And, you know what? I'm all for this too. Sign me up for anything you want to try and cross over lines of or give nods to different, I don't know, figure lines you don't own the rights to and stuff, even though Hasbro does own the rights to Star Wars. You get what I'm saying. But anyway, there's a lot to unpack with Wade, so let's just go ahead and skip articulation for the most part. Let's go ahead and just say that he definitely is the 100% picture-perfect, comic-accurate version of Deadpool. And what better body to put him on than the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man? I mean, he made Daredevil fantastic. He makes every figure a little bit better. So I have literally no complaints in that department whatsoever. I would say he's uh, pretty much a damn near perfect figure. His color scheme is fantastic too. They went with a darker tone. Uh, the brighter colors almost gave him more of a goofy quality. And for me personally, I like a more serious driven Deadpool. And I cannot thank them enough for not putting that triangle floppy piece of cloth in the back of his head. This is classic Deadpool. And I love every single minute of it. Yeah, meow. Stop. Allow me to present to you funning with Deadpool. So Wade over here didn't come with these black cuffs. He came with these. 
and it was just a little too much red, so I just swapped them out for the initial first release. This guy. He also did not come with this knife. I got that from some G.I. Joe figure I don't know the name of right now, so... Ugh. Other people may have noticed that this hand is not the one that came with this Deadpool. Herein lies fun fact number one. Bam! Hello, my name is Bison. Cacalaparo to cuisine. Everybody knows Captain America, don't they? Yeah, they do. Maybe if you have this figure, you should try something out. All I'm trying to do is give everybody ideas and options on how y'all can increase the fun factors on these already amazing figures. The red of Captain America's gloves, well, they're the same red as... <gasps> oh, is that right? Oh, bunny ears. Oh, shit, too far back. Same exact color. So now you have all the crazy Captain America hands. They can go on Deadpool. You're welcome. That man's hitting him with the bunny ears. Oh, my goodness. Damn. Uh, I'm having too much weird of a time with that. I used his hand in the beginning of the video because it just looks so sick. I couldn't open my video without using that hand for some reason. But all his hands work. I mean, they literally are all the same color. And he already comes with four pair of hands. Now you have the extra three that came with Captain America that are all different pointer fingers, saluting and all that kind of stuff, grabbing hands. But let us not forget, not only do you have all these hands for Deadpool, now you have all these hands for Captain America. Yes. I'm gonna bust justice in the lips. All the Deadpools are pretty much highly articulated in themselves. It's just so good to finally see a nice update. I hope we get classic updates to every single body on Pinless. I swear, that'd be so great. Like, I don't want to gush too much. I did that in my last video, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say flat out that they're fantastic. I think you should get either one. Like, if this never came out, I would still be 1,000% happy with him. So, I'm glad that he came out. I just hope this gets to the right people who actually care about making awesome stuff a little bit more awesome. But anyway, I'm so excited to finally have him. He's fantastic in every way. Videos to come for sure. Check out my shorts. Uh, follow me on TikTok. It's fun as offensive. All kinds of videos and stuff there. A lot of the stuff I can't post on YouTube, I post there. Listen, people, I just like to have fun with my action figures and get the most I can out of them. And if I can share this with people and they think it's cool and they want to utilize this with their own collections and figures and stuff, well, by all means, go for it. And if no one wants to do it, I'm at least showing off what I like to do because this is the only thing that I do on this channel is have fun. And uh, you're welcome to have fun with me and you're welcome to my ideas. And if you like them, take them. So shout out in the comments below. Did you find anything so far in this video useful? Are you going to utilize anything you've seen? Let me hear from you. Final thoughts. Exquisitely masterful craftsmanship of fine action figures in a six inch form. Hasbro, congratulations. You knocked it out of the park again. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Thank you, everybody, for listening to me gab on and on about these two badass sons of bitches here. And as always, tune in next week for another exciting episode of. The most cliche dance move in film history.